Mars is often seen as humanity's next big frontier, planet with conditions that make it the best candidate for human colonization after Earth. It has a day length similar to ours, evidence of water, and a thin atmosphere that could support long-term human presence with the right technology. Both NASA and private companies like SpaceX are working on ambitious plans to send humans to Mars, aiming to make interplanetary life a reality. Yet, despite decades of progress in space exploration, setting foot on the red planet remains an extraordinary challenge. The question is, why is it so difficult to get to Mars? To completely understand the complexity of a Mars mission, it helps to look back at what humanity has already achieved. During the space race of the 1960s, NASA managed to send astronauts to the moon six times, with 12 people walking on its surface. This monumental success showed what was possible with determination and innovation. Today, we're used to seeing astronauts regularly travel to space, staying aboard the International Space Station for months at a time. Other nations, such as China, with its Tiangong Station, have also demonstrated their capability in low Earth orbit. These achievements might make it seem like reaching Mars is the next logical step. But in reality, the challenges involved are on a completely different scale. One of the biggest hurdles is the sheer distance to Mars. Most human space travel so far has taken place in low Earth orbit, commonly referred to as LEO. This region extends up to about 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface, a distance so short that it's comparable to a road trip between two cities. Missions to the International Space Station, for example, take only a few hours to reach orbit. It's like traveling just a small step away from Earth's surface. Missions to the moon, however, go far beyond this. The moon is about 380,000 kilometers away from Earth, roughly a thousand times farther than the altitude of the ISS. During the Apollo missions, it took astronauts about three days to reach the moon. The Saturn V rocket, which powered these missions, was a marvel of engineering. Standing 110 meters tall and weighing about 3,000 tons, it was capable of carrying a payload of 50 tons to the moon. This leap in distance and capability was monumental, requiring years of preparation, innovation, and an enormous budget. Now. Consider Mars. The minimum distance between Earth and Mars is about 55 million kilometers, which happens only once every 26 months when the planets align favorably. This distance is not just a few times farther than the Moon. It's over a thousand times farther. To put it in perspective, a trip to Mars is like taking one million journeys to the ISS. The distances involved are mind-boggling, and this alone illustrates why a mission to Mars is so much more complex than anything humanity has attempted before. The logistical challenges of sending humans to Mars are far more complex than any mission humanity has undertaken so far. To understand just how big the leap is, we can look at two important missions from the past. John Glenn's Mercury 6 mission in 1962 was America's first orbital flight. It lasted about five hours and used a relatively small Atlas rocket to send one astronaut and a tiny capsule into orbit, just a few hundred kilometers above Earth. Contrast this with Apollo 17, the final mission to the moon in 1972. That mission required the massive Saturn V rocket, capable of carrying a spacecraft weighing about 50 tons to the moon, which is roughly a thousand times farther than Glenn's short trip. Even with such advanced technology for its time, Apollo 17 was a complex operation involving three astronauts, a lunar module, and a total mission time of about 12 days. Now, imagine the complexity of sending humans to Mars. Instead of a crew of one or three, a Mars mission would likely have a team of six astronauts. Instead of a week-long mission, a Mars trip would take over two years. This includes the journey to Mars, a stay on the planet long enough to wait for Earth and Mars to align again, and the return trip. The supplies needed for six people over this time span are staggering, including food, water, oxygen, and equipment for both survival and scientific work. Everything must be carefully planned and transported, and there's no room for error. Fuel requirements are another huge challenge. 
the amount of fuel needed for a Mars mission is far beyond anything required for previous missions. To get to Mars, the spacecraft must accelerate to break free of Earth's gravity, travel millions of kilometers through space, slow down to enter Mars' orbit, and then do the same in reverse to Earth. All of this requires massive amounts of fuel, not just for the spacecraft itself, but also for the return trip. One potential solution scientists are exploring is the use of Mars resources, such as extracting carbon dioxide from its atmosphere and converting it into rocket fuel. This idea, known as in-situ resource utilization, could significantly reduce the amount of fuel that needs to be carried from Earth. However, no such system has been tested in real-world conditions yet, and the technology remains experimental. Until this becomes reliable, all the fuel for the mission would have to be transported from Earth, which adds an enormous logistical burden. Because of the amount of equipment and supplies needed, it won't be possible to send everything in a single rocket. Multiple launches will be required to transport different components, such as the spacecraft, habitats, and fuel modules, which would then be assembled in space before heading to Mars. The Saturn V rocket used for the Apollo missions was the most powerful rocket ever built and could send about 120 tons into low Earth orbit. The new Space Launch System, developed by NASA, is expected to match or slightly exceed this capability. Even so, a single SLS launch wouldn't be enough for a Mars mission. Instead, several launches would be needed to transport all the necessary components into orbit, which would then be carefully assembled and tested before departing for Mars. On top of the logistical and technical challenges, there are significant human factors to consider. Long-term weightlessness is one of the biggest concerns. On the International Space Station, astronauts spend months in microgravity, which can lead to muscle atrophy, bone loss, and changes in the cardiovascular system. For a Mars mission, astronauts would experience weightlessness for even longer periods, potentially over a year at a time. While exercise can help mitigate some of these effects, there's no way to fully simulate gravity for such a long duration, as the rotating, gravity-generating spacecraft we see in movies remain science fiction for now. Psychological challenges are just as significant. A mission to Mars would involve living in a confined space for over two years with no escape and minimal personal privacy. Communication with Earth would be delayed by up to 20 minutes each way depending on the distance between the two planets, making real-time conversations impossible. This isolation, combined with the stress of being millions of kilometers from home, could take a severe toll on the mental health of the crew. Even astronauts trained to handle high-stress environments would face new psychological challenges on a journey of this length and magnitude. When it comes to sending humans to Mars, the technical and operational challenges are as daunting as the logistical and human factors. One of the most critical issues is radiation exposure. Space is filled with harmful cosmic rays and solar radiation that are far more intense than anything experienced on Earth or even in low Earth orbit. Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere protect us from most of this radiation. But on a journey to Mars, astronauts would be completely exposed. Prolonged exposure to this radiation can increase the risk of cancer, damage the nervous system, and even affect cognitive function. While scientists are working on solutions, such as shielding materials or using the spacecraft itself as a barrier, no definitive answer has been found yet. This remains one of the biggest challenges for long-duration space travel. Another key problem is the durability of equipment. On the International Space Station, astronauts can receive replacement parts and repairs from Earth when something breaks down. But on a Mars mission, this won't be an option. Everything sent to Mars must work reliably for over two years or be fixable using spare parts carried on the mission. Equipment must be designed to handle the harsh conditions of space, from extreme temperatures to constant exposure to cosmic radiation. Any failure could jeopardize the mission, so developing systems that are either incredibly robust or easily repairable is essential. Even tools for repairs must be lightweight and versatile since every gram counts when launching into space. Supporting human life for such a long mission also brings enormous challenges. Astronauts will need food, water, and oxygen, not just for the journey, but also for their time on Mars. Current life support systems, like those used on the ISS, recycle water and air, but they're not yet efficient enough for a mission of this duration. 
Growing food on Mars is an exciting idea, but it's still largely experimental. Until sustainable systems are developed, missions will need to bring nearly all their supplies from Earth, which significantly increases the weight and cost of the mission. Look into the future, opinions on when humanity might finally reach Mars vary widely. Some experts are optimistic, suggesting it could happen within a few decades if we dedicate the necessary resources and focus. SpaceX, for example, has ambitious plans to land humans on Mars as early as the 2030s. On the other hand, many scientists caution that the challenges we face are so complex that it could take much longer, possibly even centuries. One thing is clear, funding and careful planning are key. A mission to Mars will require unprecedented collaboration between governments, private companies, and international organizations. The cost will be enormous, but the potential benefits, from scientific discoveries to inspiring a new generation of explorers, are equally immense. Without proper budgeting and meticulous preparation, the risks of failure are simply too high. Well. The dream of sending humans to Mars is within reach, but the road ahead is filled with challenges, from overcoming radiation and ensuring equipment durability to creating sustainable life support systems. Every step will require innovation and determination. Still, the possibilities are exciting. Will we see humanity step foot on Mars in our lifetimes, or is the goal still too far away? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're interested in knowing more about Mars, watch our video on alien artifacts on Mars. See you in the next one. Bye.